Welcome back everybody, welcome back. It's been a while since I made a good video. However, I stepped into the process of making more time for my plugin development, uh, as well as websites, as other software and programs. And beside that, we also have the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, streams that I'm currently doing. Once in a while I stream for about uh, three or four hours at a row. Uh, and that way I try to get in live touch with people. So if you want to see a, me gaming or see me play a certain game or such, you can always find me on Twitch as well. Uh, but without further ado, let me go on to the tutorial slash demonstration of the uh, Streamer GUI plugin, which is hopefully coming to Spigot soon, since they rejected my plugin like four times now, three or four times, three, three times now. Due to the fact they keep stating that it's not enough. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the uh, demonstration. The Streamer GUI is a uh, tool that can be used beside Twitch to allow your streamers to feel a little bit more known in the server. They can advertise themselves, but in that same way, they already advertise your server. So, it all starts with these three commands. Um, if you have a uh, streamer on your server, the sgui list command will show which streamers are currently live on Twitch. It will automatically detect when they go live, um, so it will automatically trigger when they are live into that list. Um, we have the manager, which is containing most features currently in the plugin. So let me go over the options one by one. We have a create coupon, which is for the giveaway feature for streamers. You as server owner or manager can create coupons. These coupons get put into a text file and they can be copied and pasted into a, um, a tool. Like for example, uh, Streamlabs OBS uh, has a giveaway system built in to give away keys. Uh, every system that can give away keys can use this system. You can always do it manually, but anyways, you can generate a coupon with it and generate endless keys for that coupon. You can generate the code for the coupon separately from the coupon itself, but you can also do it in the coupon manager. You can remove them as well. If you want to revoke them, they will become invalid as soon as you do it. Uh, you can edit existing coupons. You can add streamers to be verified on your server, which means only they will be followed on Twitch with their actions, events, and such. Um, you can always remove and revoke those ones as well as edit them. The styler is something I want to show you indifferently. You can style the way it's all showcasing. For example, it shows aqua here. Um, it tries to connect the closest color on glass to show it what color it is. But if I, for example, turn to dark aqua, you can see a cyan one. Black, black one. And this is how basically it goes into the colors. And it will directly change it in game as well. For every next message sent, the colors will be adjusted to the one that's close to it, what it needs. In order to make a coupon, we just click on create coupon and we'll ask for a name in the chat. For example, uh, showcase. This is the name of the coupon. The coupon name can be anything and needs to be called as soon as somebody redeems that coupon. Since many different coupons can exist and the codes can overlap if you have many coupons, this one will make sure uh, that the coupon is unique. In this case, we have a coupon that's called Showcase. We can remove it, we generate codes for it, we can add commands to it or clear the commands from it, and we can close the menu. If I click add command, I can do, for example, say hi there. And now the command say hi there is added to the command. You cannot see currently uh, which commands are in, but I'm making it so that you can see it in the next slot. Um, the code generator will generate codes for it. So in this case, we have a coupon generator for the coupon showcase. Um, 
And here you can see there are zero keys in the database, so nobody can call this coupon yet. So I can see here that I'm clicking for one, but if I click the plus icon, I can up it to how much keys I want to generate. Spamming the button. For example, 20 pieces. I can generate 20 codes. And when I want to, I can click this button to generate 20 codes. As you can see here, it's created the new file in my plugins folder. There is the file. And if I go to there, there is a text file containing all the codes it generated. 20 pieces uh, of the uh, code. I will show it on screen right now. These codes can be used in the process. So that's where the next part of this video is going to be about. So we are now going to enter the command slash uh, claim or claim reward it can also be used or claim rewards. Uh, then the coupon name, which in this case will be the um, showcase was the name of the coupon. And then we have the coupon code itself. I copied one over, but when I press enter, you can see in chat, it says hi there. That's the coupon activating. If I try to use the coupon again, you can see that this coupon is now invalid. So it's one time use coupons that you can generate, at least keys you can generate for your giveaway actions on streams. Uh, you can do it as an admin yourself, but there are more, more options coming soon that allows the streamer to do it himself by using a chest. So it stays survival friendly instead of GT. <coughs> Excuse me. So, this is the way the coupons work, but how about streamers? How do they control their system? Well, there is a command called SUI control. If you click it, it opens their own control panel. Here you can see your channel on Twitch. You can broadcast your channel once every 15 minutes. You can mark yourself manually as live. If the owner has disabled the automatic detection, this is a way to set them as live. <clears throat> and automatically announces it every 15 minutes. Uh, and it can also end the stream themselves. For example, if your streamer wants to stop uh, the announcement, they can remove themselves. However, um, they will not get automatically marked as online again. And you can also remove yourself from the streamer's list if you want to stop doing that. Now, if you want to know how it works with uh, ways streamers get control, any streamer that's currently online and live streaming will see their chat inside the Minecraft chat. So, um, I will go to my uh, Twitch page at the same time. Um, give me a small moment. Then this is the result. The result is that every time somebody chats in the chat on Twitch, the message will be sent in private to the one that's streaming. So if I'm streaming and I have a channel chat, I can turn it on and off, by the way, in the configuration. However, the point is um, more and more customization options will be added along the way. And this is one thing that's by default on, but will soon be able to be toggleable by the streamer itself. So the way it works is it calls the Twitch API and asks for the latest messages and compares it to what it already has. And it works very smoothly. There is no lag and there is a delay of like 10 milliseconds between the message on Twitch and the message in game. Um, I can keep on typing here, but if I remove myself from the screen, um, the recording stops. So that's not very smart of me to do. Uh, however, this is one of the features. Um, what I cannot show is the online stated message because if I go online, everybody sees me online. So it's pretty annoying that I cannot show it. Anyways, it showcases a message, which I can also show using the GUI control. Um, it basically, um, this is the manual uh, streamer link message. But as soon as somebody gets online, the message gets a little bit altered, stating that it's now streaming online. And if he stops streaming, the same thing happens in the other way around, the stream ended. Um, this way you promote the one that's on your server that's streaming for you. Also, um, they can promote you back because I have implemented streamer drops. Uh, as soon as a stream is online and I'm watching the stream as a player, 
and I want to get in, I can do a certain command called TB drops and then the username, for example, um, mmusic. And then finally the channel name, which basically my Twitch name and my channel name. So mmusic is my name on Twitch and mmusic is my channel name. This prevents also um, the system will automatically detect who it is on Twitch and will automatically link through. So if I press enter, I'm added to the stream's drops, which means that if the stream goes online, it will randomly drop an item from the configuration file near the position every so many minutes that the streamer is online and the user is watching their stream. Which means that when you're watching their stream, you get rewarded on the server that you're playing on. However, you need to be also online on the server that you're playing on to get the, the streamer drops, basically. So, for example, the streamer is online and is streaming on your server and you have enabled streamer drops to be happening and people write themselves in on the streamer drops command that I just showed. Every 15 minutes or so, the um, item will drop on their location and they will pick it up. It's completely random which item they get from the list you can set in the configuration file itself. Which means it basically adds the Twitch uh, drop system into the game without needing any other mods or uh, something like that on the Twitch side. The only thing you need for the system to work is your own Twitch API key, which you can get for free on the Twitch developer website. You can get it and you can call, uh, put it into the configuration file. Nothing of the file or data you enter in a file is shared with me. That, that, let that be for sure. No private information is collected. The only thing that gets sent is uh, one ping uh, on the start of the plugin, uh, which gets you your verification token in order to get support on my Discord server for live support, uh, which is important. Otherwise, uh, people can leak it and try to steal it. And since it's bound to the one that purchased it, that's where it goes to. Since the plugin is not released yet on Spigot, it currently automatically licenses to me. Um, you can pre-order it on my own website if you want to, and you get transferred automatically to Spigot once it's there. However, the um, the cost will also increase when it goes on Spigot. So basically, this shows it a little bit of short while, but what also gets sent to the streamer are um, follower alerts in the chats, uh, subscriber alerts, uh, resubscriber alerts and donation alerts. They all get sent with their information. For example, if somebody donates, he can see it in his chat pop up, uh, like saying uh, user point, point, point uh, donated uh, 10 bucks. Uh, uh, user um, and music is now following you uh, or is now subscribed to you or it has resubscribed to you. Uh, those things uh, are also uh, triggered in the uh, in the chat as well for the streamer itself. Uh, and since there are many more features that are being added, like more control to the streamer, survival based giveaways and drops, both are going in. And if you have any suggestion, please leave them in the comments down below or join my Discord, even better. Uh, link is also in the description of this video to talk about this plugin and get it more into the development like you want it to. I hope you liked it, and if you do, please leave a like. Please tell me that you like this plugin and like the idea of the plugin. Um, one last note to uh, add to this uh, video. The Twitch uh, API is only accessible by a special API that gets delivered with you, uh, with a plugin. So as soon as you buy the plugin and you get a jar file, um, I'm working on a way to get all the files directly into the folder as well. But since it's pretty huge, um, it's possible that either you need to download it manually or externally a zip file, which you can put uh, extracted into the plugin folder to make the API work. Um, I made a jar loader into my plugin, which loads up the Twitch API on startup so that it, the bot works flawlessly. Um, I have no further information to give at this moment. I hope you liked once again. Subscribe if you really do. 
And uh, I'm happy to see you come by on my Discord to have a nice conversation about uh, things you like in this plugin and things you think that needs to be improved or suggestions to be added to the plugin. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Good luck. Bye.